celebrities are just like everybody else. They have the same 24 hours in a day to do whatever they choose. While some get their day started before sunrise, others work well into the night. Here are some famous people who have some of the most ridiculous daily routines. While 5am is reasonably early for most early birds, actor, producer and former rapper Mark Wahlberg is well into his day by then. According to his Instagram post from 2018, his quote, typical daily schedule begins when he wakes up at 2.30am. Alright, can't wait for F45 to open back up in LA. In the meantime, 2.30 in the morning and I'm hitting it on my PowerPlay Pro 7. He then starts his prayers at 2.45, followed by breakfast at 3.15. According to Men's Journal, Mark Wahlberg's first meal consists of the following. Steel oats, peanut butter, blueberries and eggs. That first breakfast powers his first workout of the day, which lasts about 90 minutes until a little after 5am. Then comes his second breakfast at around 5.30, which he said includes a protein shake, three turkey burgers and five pieces of sweet potato. After a shower and some quick golfing, he enjoys another snack at 8, a substantial protein hit of, quote, 10 turkey meatballs. Wahlberg's physical recovery in a cryogenic chamber arrives promptly at 9.30am, but then he needs to eat again at 10.30. At that time, he said he eats a large grilled chicken salad with two hard-boiled eggs, olives, avocado, cucumber, tomato and lettuce. Properly exercised and fed, Wahlberg likes to take the two-hour block from 11am to 1pm to take meetings, answer phone calls and have family time. Then, it's the first of two lunches, a steak with green peppers and after more business and picking his kids up from school, Wahlberg eats chicken and veggies. Around 4pm, he has another scheduled hour-long workout and a shower. After a 5.30 fish dinner and some time with the kids, he's in bed by 7.30. This might be the time when many people are just sitting down to dinner, but when you wake up before dawn like Mark Wahlberg, an early bedtime is necessary. Maybe the couple that works out together stays together. Former President of the United States Barack Obama and former First Lady Michelle Obama enjoyed a daily ritual during their Oval Office years, wherein they worked out together well before dawn. The former First Lady told Us Weekly in 2012 that she'd wake up at 4.30am and head to the gym. She added that Barack would join her either in the middle of her workout or right at the end. After watching some sports center together, the Obamas would go off on their separate ways for most of the day. According to Newsweek, the former POTUS would start work at about 8.30 a.m. and wouldn't leave the office until 6.30 p.m. It was important to Barack to carve out some time in the evening for family, so he'd have dinner with his wife and two daughters, Malia and Sasha, and just be present until sending the kids to bed at about 8.30 p.m. Then it was back to work, reading briefings, finishing paperwork or writing until just before midnight, followed by reading time and then bed, which happened, quote, sometimes a little later than 12.30 a.m. That's certainly a full day, as one might expect for a former president who admitted to being a night owl to Newsweek. Orlando Bloom is a busy guy, actor, devoted partner to pop star Katy Perry and a new dad as of 2020. Juggling all that requires a lot of maintenance and Bloom goes about his day sticking to a strict regimen of holistic body health, aggressively filling his body with essential nutrients. According to an interview with the Sunday Times, the first thing he does in the morning upon waking at 6.30 is look over the app paired with his wearable sleep tracker to see if he slept well and to check his quote, readiness. After that comes 20 minutes of Buddhist chanting to get his spirit right. And then it's on to a before-breakfast ingestion of food-like substances. This meal should not be confused with breakfast because Bloom likes to quote, earn that meal. Bloom revealed, I'll just have some green powders that I mix with brain octane oil, a collagen powder for my hair and nails, and some protein. Properly fueled for the time being, Bloom then goes for a hike while he listens, quote, to some Nirvana or Stone Temple Pilots. By that point, it's 9am and Bloom has suitably earned that breakfast, which usually consists of a nice cup of tea and a porridge with mix-ins like a little hazelnut milk, cinnamon, vanilla paste, hazelnuts, goji berries and a vegan protein powder. Since the start of Orlando Bloom's day is perhaps one of the most holistic ones on the list, we can only imagine what the rest of his day looks like. Dwayne Johnson is known as The Rock for a reason. He's a muscle-bound mountain of a man. 
and that takes work. He wakes up, quote, before the sun, sometimes as early as 3 a.m. In an interview with Variety, he said, I often sacrifice two hours of sleep just so I can have the quiet two hours that I need before the whole house wakes up. Followers of his social media might be familiar with his semi-regular workout updates. I'm going to go catch this leg workout. I'm going to get after it like Tupac says. I came to bring the pain. Uh, So here we go. Johnson uses this early time to centre himself, which enables him to work long hours and focus on his early morning training time. According to bodybuilding, after a cup of coffee, he gets in at least 30 minutes of cardio, either on an outdoor run or an elliptical cross-trainer machine. Breakfast, or rather the first of about five meals he'll eat that day, comes thereafter. It includes beef, oatmeal, casein protein, and any number of his other go-to foods, like chicken, egg whites, and veggies. In the interview, he said, I'm very prepared and organized, and everything is planned out in advance. It's all measured depending on what I'm training to achieve. Johnson then begins his second workout, and if he's on location shooting a movie, he gets that done on the Iron Paradise, a portable strength training gym comprising 45,000 pounds of equipment. He works out six days a week with a different focus for each day, be it legs, shoulders, chest, biceps, triceps, or back. Then it's off to shoot a movie for the next 12 hours or more, sprinkled with one of his four other protein-rich meals. According to Forbes, as of April 2021, Kim Kardashian is a billionaire. Her wealth is due in large part to her shapewear company Skims and KKW Beautyline, as well as multiple endorsements, investments and her starring part on the long-running Keeping Up With The Kardashians reality TV franchise. All of that is possible only with meticulous planning, and that strategy is evident in the tycoon's daily schedule. According to Harper's Bazaar, Kardashian wakes up at 6am and is outside for a run on a local horse trail or inside on her treadmill by 6.15. She aims to have breakfast ready for herself and any number of her other immediate family members by the end of her hour-long workout session, which also includes focusing on her abs and legs. She revealed, I'll usually have scrambled eggs or oatmeal or a protein shake with fruit. After some morning time with the kids, it's time for a 9am hour-long bath and, if she's taping something that day, she's ready for her hair and makeup team to begin their work. That process takes an hour and a half and Kardashian uses the time to respond to emails, video chat with her kids or her nieces and nephews, or engage in the ongoing text chain with her famous sisters. That is an essential part of her mornings. She said, I can't live without talking to my family. I'm obsessed with them. Filming or business meetings then commences at noon. Oprah Winfrey was once the ruler of the TV talk show world, but she's since retired from the Oprah Winfrey show. She now focuses on hosting and producing content for the OWN TV network and her websites, which are mostly focused on spirituality, gratitude and mindfulness. Winfrey's schedule day in and day out reflects those themes too. Winfrey wakes up naturally around 6am. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter in 2017, she said, I put the number in my mind and I wake up before that because the dogs are trained to go out around that time. She gets up, brushes her teeth and takes out the dogs to do their business. By 7am and with a chai tea or cappuccino providing a caffeine boost, Winfrey's in her home gym to work out and watch her best friend Gail King on CBS This Morning. After hitting the elliptical and treadmill for 20 and 30 minutes each, she does sit-ups and finishes off with a meditation session. Following a light breakfast of eggs and toast at 8.30, Winfrey starts work at 9am, which is a wall-to-wall block of business that lasts for four hours or more. After lunch, which consists of, quote, soup and a big salad, it's back to work for the star, with multiple teleconferences and meetings taking her into the early evening. After dinner, it's time for hanging out with partner Stedman Graham and two hours of reading. Then Winfrey crawls into bed at 10pm for some, quote, gratitude journaling. It seems like a lot of successful people are also early risers. That's no coincidence. It's the simple equation of more time in the day means more opportunities to get stuff done. And Tim Cook, CEO of Apple, a company that offers its customers numerous gadgets to help them stay productive and punctual, is no exception. In an interview with Time in 2012, Tim Cook revealed... The thing about it is, when you love what you do, you don't really think of it as work. It's what you do, and that's the good fortune of where I find myself. 
According to the same interview, Cook gets out of bed each day at 3.45am in order to tackle a huge virtual stack of email correspondence. Since he lives in California, all that messaging is done before people on the East Coast arrive at their offices. After that, Cook takes a break from work, heads to the gym to work out, and then moves to Starbucks to fire off another round of emails. Only after he's put in a few hours working independently does Cook head into the office at Apple's headquarters in Cupertino, California. Martha Stewart personally directs so many different projects, including a magazine, multiple TV shows, a website and books, that to do it all means she couldn't sleep much even if she were so inclined. According to the New York Times, Stewart needs only about four hours a night and she's out of bed around 5 a.m. According to Harper's Bazaar, one of the first things Stuart does is take her dogs out into the courtyard of her working farm in Bedford, New York. She then checks emails and verifies that pre-written and pre-scheduled blog posts have gone live. After a walk through her extensive network of greenhouses and gardens which house hundreds of plants, Stuart meets her trainer at 6.30am for a regimen of aerobic exercise, maybe a mile and a half on the treadmill or stairmaster, then weights, stretching, a little yoga. Breakfast comes at 7.30, which is a green drink composed primarily of vegetables grown on her property. At 8am, Stuart is driven into her offices in New York City, and she uses the hour-long trip to read newspapers and magazines. When she gets to the office at 9, she spends 90 minutes, quote, responding to several hundred emails before a daily operations meeting with her executive board. The rest of the working day is spent shooting scenes for TV shows and attending more meetings. Then it's back home for an elaborate dinner around 6.30pm. Stuart then spends the rest of the evening writing memos and, quote, switch between the late night TV talk shows. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nikki Swift videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.